Hey guys, what's here and welcome back to another Minecraft mob out here on the channel. Today we have another fan suggested fight. Today we have the Robo Founder from Chaos Awakens facing off against the Netherite Monstrosity from the Cataclysm mod. This is going to be a fun fight between two giant robotic like titans. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. However, I will say in the test fight, without spoiling how the fight will go, um, keep in mind that the Robo Pounder is still very work in progress. Under Chaos Awakens, it, it's it's uh, we've seen it in the ba in a battle I think once or twice already. But it, just so you guys know, it is still work in progress. So going into this fight, keep that in mind. Either way, if you guys have been enjoying the mob battles on channel, smash the like button, show support, consider subscribing if you are new. And as always, comment down below which fight you would like to see next. And the most liked comment or thumbs up comment will be the one picked. And let's get right into this. So here is the Roa Pounder, 300 health, 30 armor bars versus. Netherite monstrosity, 360 health, 10 armor bars. Let's do it. Also, I should mention it like spewing lava a lot, so I have a command to get rid of lava after each round if we need to. But yeah, Netherite monstrosity moving in. Robo Pounder already struggling to get near the boy. But yeah, um, just keep in mind the, the Robo Pounder is going to struggle a lot in this fight. The, the Netherite monstrosity seemingly has full control over the situation. Uh, whether it comes to burning him alive or not. Also, oh yeah, he, he eats lava. Look at that. I didn't even notice he did that. Also, I think some boss music is playing in Minecraft right now because of him. It is. That's so great. I don't have to edit in music today. Not like I ever do, but... That's kind of funny. Yeah, see, he gets, like, I don't know if it's a hitbox thing, but, uh, the Robo Pounder gets, like, right in where he would be able to hit him, and then he just stands still. Sometimes he does land a hit, like he just did right there. It just seems like something stops him. I'm not entirely sure what that is. If it's, a, like I said, if it's a hitbox issue with him, or if it's just, like, positioning. I'm not entirely sure, but hey, this is how the fight would go right now, so we gotta, we gotta showcase it as we are. Let's see how this looks from his perspective. Ow. Ow, yep. Let's see how it looks from his perspective. Yep. <laughs> that looks about right. And and before anyone says yes, as spectator mode, you can go into different mobs by left clicking them and sort of see what they see. It's a fun little feature. You guys should try that sometime with a creeper or a spider in vanilla Minecraft and you might get a cool effect on your screen. A lot of people don't know about that with spectator mode, which I find funny because spectator mode's been out since 1.8, I think. Uh... And, and a lot of people still don't know that you can do stuff like that. I always used to call it possessing the mob. Because you're, you're like a spirit going into them. But either way. This is an epic fight. Only so far has the Robo Pounder landed one official hit on the Netherite monstrosity. But I gotta say, I, I love the models from this mod creator. Uh, the, I think it's the Cataclysm mod, right? Yeah, the, the Cataclysm mod does so good with the models for the different golems and stuff. It looks really cool. Oh, we're doing a lava attack again. Now, I'm wondering if he goes to eat the lava, will he heal from it? That is the question. And also, the two mods that I use in today's mod battle will be in the description down below, so you guys can check them out for yourselves. It'll either be a link to the download directly on CurseForge, or it'll be a link to a YouTube video where I showcase the mod myself and talk a little bit more in-depth with it. I have never reviewed the uh, Cataclysm mod, but I really need to. I need to make a note of that because it's such a good mod and doesn't add that many mobs to it either. I just don't know anything about it aside from uh, the mob battle aspect of it. But yeah, Nether, Nether, Nether Pounder. The Robo Pounder is coming down to the wire now. He's down to about 42 HP out of his 300, whereas the Netherite Monstrosity is still at a whopping 342 HP out of its 360. Um, I should also mention that the Robo Pounder is way more armor defense. He has 30, whereas the Netherite Monstrosity has 10. Uh, which is really cool to look at it that way because he's made of literal netherite, whereas the Robo Pounder is made out of, well, we don't even know what that is. But looking like coming down to the wire here and Robo Pounder is about to be taken out. Oh, he still has three health left. And it's over. Netherite monstrosity has won. Congratulations. Also, I have to figure out how to turn off those achievements for the One Piece mod. That or, uh, I need to learn how to, um, 
I need to just remove the mod because that gets annoying after battles. But anyway, round one is done. Let me quickly remove the lava from the field and let's move on to the next round. So we got two Robo Pounders this time versus one Netherite Monstrosity. Let's do it. I like how he boots up like a robot too. All right, we're starting off with the lava and the slam. It does hit both of them. We might see something different turn out this time, depending. They might be able to land more hits. We'll see. In the last fight, they only were able to get one hit off. And also, you guys can probably already guess based on the length of the battles, but we're not going to have too many mob battles today, or rounds, I should say, uh, for these guys, because they do take a while to hit each other and knock each other down. Is he going to hit him? He's like right in him. This would be the perfect opportunity to swing his arm at him. It's funny because it does do a chunk of damage when he actually does attack. It's not like it's 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 not a strong blow that would be dealt. It's just sad that he's not motivated. The robot pounder's a pacifist now. Oh, he ate all the lava. I want to see him do that after he's hurt, though. You can't really tell if he's injured or not. Also, robot pounder, what are you doing? You've just sort of walked away from your duties as more lava pours into the arena. I like this epic boss fight music and he's kind of just like walking up and letting himself get hit I think he's just reverse boosting guys. He's just trying to he's trying to lower his stats for next time He comes into the arena, so he'll be less anticipated to win Therefore he'll uh, he'll make more emeralds that way, you know because betting obviously happens, right? Bet you a bunch of villagers would would bet emeralds on this fight. Oh, the other one's finally coming in, it looks like. He's coming in from behind. Oh, he still got hit. <laughs> Is he going to land a blow, though? Nope, he's just going to stand there and take damage. He's in the optimal striking distance as well. Yeah, I just don't know what, what uh, would make them fight. You see them do it. It's not like they are programmed not to hit. Uh, they can do it. It's just for some reason they're not motivated to. I'm not entirely sure why. But hopefully it gets patched next time uh, Chaos Awakens has an update. Uh, whenever that is. But yeah, I think it's funny because I actually got a comment on uh, on one of my videos uh, before I started recording this. And they were like, do you know if Chaos Awakens is still updating? And I was like, I, I mean, I don't know that. But I know it probably will. <laughs> I know they are planning on another update. Uh, it's just it's just taking them time to, to work. It, was he about to land? He hit him. He hit him. Look, the he took damage. NM took damage. That that stands for Netherite Monstrosity, but it's a mouthful to say that name. He, he hit him again. Well, he went to at least. Whenever you see the Robo Pounder spin his arm, that means he's actually trying to do an attack. I don't know what was motivating him to do so, though. Also, is this the first time the Netherite Monstrosity has been in a single match? He's been in the arena before, but I think he's normally been uh, in, in uh, group battles on a team. I don't think he's ever done a 1v1 before. That being said, though, <laughs> looking like the, the first row of Pounder is about to go down. And guys, unfortunately, this is going to be the last round I do. And I know I only did two rounds, but based on the outcomes, I think I think we can state how how, how long this would go. For. Um, I will though for the fun of it spawn in a bunch of robo pounders for one more bonus round just to see what will happen but it's very clear that uh, the robo pounders struggle to hit their target all right we're moving on to the other one <laughs> it's playing such epic music it's so funny. Oh, he went to swing again, but he missed. I think he missed at least. It was hard to see. I think he has to be like really right up in his hitbox to, to try to attack him. Again, I don't know who's, whose hitbox is causing this to occur. But something makes the Robo Pounder just walk to that point and stop moving. But at other times, there is the thing that makes him attack. Also, he's only dealing 4 damage too, which means if the Robo Pounder was actually fighting back, it would be a struggle for the uh, N for NM to win. He doesn't care though. 
at least the robo powder stuck to his morals the entire time he's, he's oh oh he did a swing right as i said it he hit him again he got two hits off <laughs> Alright, six damage. One damage. And that's it for that. But we are not done. I'm gonna, for the fun of it, spawn in a bunch of Robo Pounders. And we're gonna see if he can face them all. Alright, final bonus round. Get him! They're hitting him! They're doing it! We just have to shove them all into him and it works! <laughs> they can do it you just need to have so many in the arena that they push themselves into the hitbox and force them to deal damage some of them are now just stuck in the lava pools this is crazy will they be able to kill him will they be able to eliminate the netherite monstrosity oh my gosh she's roaring have we heard him roar yet <laughs> Oh, he spewed more lava. They're one weakness. But they're so close to killing him. They're gonna do it. Oh, he's, he, he does heal from the lava. If he eats the lava, he does heal. Confirmed. But they don't care. They are going to eliminate him. One more hit will do it. It's over. The netherite monstrosity has been defeated by... You guys can count how many that were here. But guys, that is going to do it for today's mob battle. I do hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, smash like button, share support, subscribe for new. And comment down below which fight you would like to see next. The most thumbs up comment will be the one picked. Hopes you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.